You're listening to Dr. Radio, Series XM 110, About Our Kids. We're going to go right to Sean, who's giving us a call from Michigan today. Sean, welcome to About Our Kids. Hi, thank you for having me on. Uh, I am a clinical director of an anxiety treatment center in Michigan, and I love that you guys have this segment on your show. And I just wanted to comment very quickly on what we see in our treatment center that causes a lot of distressing anxiety for kids. And uh, what we see is we, we have to do a lot of parental psychoeducation just because there's a lot of enablement mm-hmm. um, with parents not wanting to see their kids distraught. And we just have that strong parental urge to make sure that our kids don't suffer. And so we see that we get a lot of benefit and treatment in just educating the parent and how to regulate their own anxiety. Mm-hmm that they can help regulate their kids' anxiety. Sean, I'm so Mm -hmm. so glad you brought that up because it's an absolutely essential piece that parents, you know, when parents have acting out kids, we don't generally get that warm, fuzzy feeling. But when your kid is crying, we want to hug them. We want to make them feel better. We want to say it's going to be okay. And we don't have to go. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Right. Right. Well, you can Mm -hmm. just stay home with mom. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think that plays into uh, this whole idea of I tell people all the time I see kids but 90% of the time I see parents, you know. Mm-hmm. So I have all these things mm-hmm. in my office that are useless because they're for kids. <laughs> anyway, right. so Rebecca, so, so Sean, we absolutely agree that parent involvement in the treatment is is, is absolutely crucial, especially for our younger kiddos. So um, I, I'm in your camp in saying that um, much of my treatment initially, especially with cognitive behavioral therapy for some type of anxiety, will um, be with helping parents to um, reduce their own accommodation of the anxiety to educate them on potentially their role in the avoidance cycle of anxiety with their kiddos and uh, like you mentioned very importantly helping to um, work through their own distress related to seeing their kiddos um, feel a little uncomfortable in, in some of these situations where they're being where their anxiety is coming up and that it's okay and so parents also have to learn how to be comfortably uncomfortable with not necessarily immediately protecting their child Right. Sean, where are you in Michigan? Uh, I am the director of the Anxiety Treatment Center of West Michigan, and we are located in Kalamazoo. Okay. Kalamazoo, Michigan. Great to know. We like to have resources on this station because, you know, when people call us from places where we don't live, we're like, oh, no, what mm-hmm. do we do? You know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. so yeah. Good, good to know that. Sean, thanks for giving us a call today. You're listening to Dr. Radio Series XM. We have lots.